Yeah, so it's hot, it's gross out there, and as we continue to see these feel like temperatures rising, heat related illnesses can happen to anyone. Anyone. And Sunrise reporter Cordero McMurray is in the studio with us. And good morning, Cordero. Now, how are these high temperatures impacting our health? Javier, well, our meteorologists have been warning us all week this heat wave can be dangerous, but what exactly makes it so dangerous? And how can we go on with our normal activities safely? Well, I spoke with health and fitness experts for those answers. You really have to start drinking before you go out. According to the Texas Department of State Health Services, in 2022, there were at least 279 heat-related deaths recorded. Dr. James Mobley, the health authority for San Patricio County, says with these high temperatures, the body's reaction is to sweat. And the idea is that the, the sweat evaporates off the skin and that cools us. Except that here in the coastal bend, our humidity is so high, it's not evaporating. So it's very hard to control temperature here. Dr. Mobley says it's dangerous to do any kind of activity outside. But if you do go outside, it's very important to stay hydrated. With the high heat index values outside, I went to Rock's Gym in Portland, where you can work up a sweat indoors or outside. Chris Garza, the general manager, says despite the heat, people are still putting in a hard workout. In the evenings, people will go out, they'll do push-ups, they'll do cardio, um, they'll do multiple stuff outside. The heat is not stopping people from being active, but is it changing how they stay active? Being outside, it's really hot, so you lose even more. I don't want to like dehydrate myself and then start cramping up because of like muscle fatigue. I like to hydrate the day before because that way you feel it the next day. I uh, also work in the oil field, so I got to hydrate all the time. Try to drink about a gallon every workout, and then after the, the rest of the whole day, I drink a whole nother gallon, stay hydrated. Drink more water and just try to eat right and make sure I don't stress myself too much because I know it's really hot outside. And aside from staying hydrated, it's important to take breaks inside to cool off. Now, a few signs of heat related illness to look for dizziness, muscle cramps, headaches, fainting or feeling faint, nausea or vomiting. And if you experience any of these symptoms, act quickly, move to a cool place, sip some water and get medical help right away. I'm Cordero McMurray, Chris, Six Sunrise, Stephanie.